Hello guys, Nato Ace here, and this is going to be actually a special video, namely a clarification. Uh, why am I doing this? Because something actually interesting that it was very, uh, in my opinion, interesting was one of my videos basically when I was doing, during my hiatus, I did one of the MMGS Quick Blog, and one of them was basically a... Response to Mike Ross uh, on on the August, I think the ninth, August the ninth episode of Capcom Pro Talk. And believe it or not, I do watch them, even so that I'm not an FGC. And you know what? One of these days, I'm probably gonna give that vlog. You know, trying to basically <laughs> settle this once and for all, trying to clarify something about this situation. All right. And why am I basically doing this clarification? Because a lot of times, you know, when you sometimes run a channel, there are always going to be new people coming in. Whether they're interested or not, that's up to them. But sometimes they kind of like, oh, this guy's interesting, but they want to know sometimes what your past history on YouTube, how long you've been, I want to know about this guy or not, you know, whatever. And it kind of sort of, well, so, so, not so much on that video because... They were uh, basically were interesting. They were actually response. I mean, I get res I get comments on my video, but some of them are just like you know, just adding their two cents on the topic. But this was actually when re they reply on this video, my my excuse me response to Mike Ross. It was actually very detailed, basically about everything in general. <laughs> so I just because they basically said also like. Uh, try watching a video again and re evaluate because I think there's something wrong. And again, it is, I'm going to say this one in any video or any YouTuber. They do have the right to give their opinion as long as they back them with facts, of course, but it's a different story. They have the right to give their opinion through whatever the video is. If they don't like it, they have the right to make comment about it. Um, uh, of course, if you're mature about it, but if you're just going to go there and say, oh, this guy is stupid. This guy is poppycock. I mean, that's destructive criticism. You're not really, you're not really giving your rebuttal. You just call, you're just attacking the guy. And how do, how, how's that person gonna learn, improve if you just attack the person? But, if you, but the comments here are very, very constructive criticism, very well developed. So props to them. And when I did look it back, I kind of basically, like I said. I said it before and I'm going to say it again. I like fighting games. I like when they talk about fighting games in the business. How it can affect the gaming community and the casual gamers. Like I said, I'm not FGC. I don't really like interest. I'm not interested in going to the scene. I just like playing top player fighting game, you know, because it's interesting. Kind of like watching WWE kind of watching martial arts, football, you know, something like that. But at the same time, the community and the culture, I have no interest. There you go. But I do like fighting games. And of course, in the past, I'm always talking about sometimes fighting games, and I also talk about, well, evolution. Because the most, again, it's the World Series of Fighting Games, or for the FGC, but it is, the, like I said, even if a casual player, it's something that's interesting. I mean, heck, even Miles923 basically said it, that, hey, look, Capcom, you know, they basically was addressing Street Fighter Five because of the error what they did. He said, yeah, casual gamers also helps you make a business. And, you know, Capcom, you know the story with Street Fighter Five, They made a mistake. They are trying to rectify it now. Moving on. So, but when I said when I rewatched that video, yes, I think they were right that to some extent I did generalize the whole situation. The objective of the video was, I was just again, like I said, it's a response to Mike Ross. I don't think he's a bad guy. I think when I see him, I can I don't I can relate to the guy, but he does remind me of Adam Sessler, somebody who gets poked fun many times. You know, just for fun, you watch him in X Play, you know, in G4. Not so much in Rev, Rev Revision 3, but that's a different story. But yeah, I mean, he was like a joke in X Play for, again, comedic factor. Same goes with that G, when he went to G4. There it is. But the guy still was well respected. 
That's, that's what I see at my cross. I can't relate to the guy because, again, I'm not like I'm. I'm not really a guy that you know were a butt of joke. I knew friends were, but again, they were good sport about it. So did that, and they were saying that that. Oh, if you only think that that's the reason why you don't want to be part of the edges because this guy acted like a kid, then, you know what, you're not seeing the bigger picture. Uh, it, again, this is why I'm saying I kind of agree. Like, I did, I did re-watch it again. It did look like I was generalizing things. But also at the same time that I knew, because I knew for a fact that that's why... But the way I did it probably wasn't good, but I knew for a fact that there is always going to be a bigger picture. Everybody knows. That's in any community. That's a one-on-one thing. That, yes, a small group of the community doesn't ruin the big community. Everybody gets that. I get that. But what also I was trying to say, even so, that is the factor, the general consumer, the general gamers... Or the general community, let's just say that. I don't know what's the appropriate word. They might not see that at first glance. When they have to do a very, very in-depth research of how the community is, they might get turned off. The thing I was just trying to basically... Okay, argue, let's just say that for the sake of argument. Argue is that, yeah, you can be salty, you can be... You know, like, oh my god, this sucks. Because that's in any game. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not just every scene. That's in any video game, any sports, any anything that's competitive. Yeah, you're going to get salty for a while. But, like I said, what Mike Ross did there was funny maybe because it's very entertaining. Some people might get, oh, wait, so this is how FGC acts when they lose. They throw down sticks. They kick their stick. They throw a wallet. And you you have the, the, heck, the, you know, frowny face. And I'm not the only one. <laughs> when I saw every time someone posts a video or in Facebook or Twitter, some people were poking for the Mike Rod. They're saying, ah, look at that guy. He's so funny. He sucks. Ha, ha, ha. I mean, you know, I wasn't even saying that. I'm, I'm not even saying. All I said was, in my videos, man, he just acted like a child. Kind of funny, but at the same time, it's kind of sad, <laughs> in my opinion. But some people were basically poking fun of the guy. I mean, again, I, like I said, if he's doing it for comedic reason, hey, more props, entertaining. More people like that, because, you know, SNL could be a skip, SNL. But if, if Mark Ross was a bit serious about doing that, I feel for him because for losing. Because, yeah, if you're in a losing streak, you do get frustrated, heck. When I started playing Street Fighter Online, I am I can tell you, I was like that too. And I said, ah, screw this. Which is should really be... Well, I mean, there's a way to f- find a solution. I found my way thanks to Alex and Ted. They basically, uh, yeah, basically, uh, you know, uh, they basically gave me some tips about it. That, you know, and even Max, every time he makes his video. And also, that's another thing people some said. Well, try watching Gutex and Miles923, aka Maximilian, dude. Well, all I can say is, if you watch my past video, you kind of know I already been me- I've been mentioning. I know I heard about these people like long time ago. So basically, going into that video, I'm not I'm not basically <laughs> clueless about the FGC. I'm well aware of the situation ever since Street Fighter Four comes out. That's the reason. But I kind of get it on that video. I was general licensing. So that was probably... That's on that's on me. That's on... Um, really... And again, that's why it's called a quick V-blog. I mean... It was been... Pl- I've been planning on wanting to say that. But... Like I said... That I was well aware of the situation. So... Yeah, that was... The, but again, I can understand that. So... The second thing is... A lot of people, I mean, these people say, yeah, well, what do you even put a video if you're just going to do this? First of all, welcome to the internet. Two, welcome to YouTube. If you have a YouTube channel, you can put whatever you want. That's wrong. It's not violating the terms of service. The last I checked, my video didn't really violate any terms of service. It's not flaming. It's not trolling. It's just, it's an interesting topic. I just want to give my thoughts. And that's it. That's all it is to it. It may be misinformed, whatever. Sometimes that's an opinion. 
And I, as Alpha Wiggison always said this on his YouTube, that sometimes I got to give props on. Don't like the video, just don't watch it. If you watch the video, it means you're interested. And if you comment, that means you are really interested of it. You're saying, hey, look, I really feel like I need to rebuttal you. And that's fine. Again, you have the right to do it. Because even, heck, the game chaser basically said the same thing. You can give your opinion. It's within your right. If you're mature about it, then people will respect that. If you're just there saying, oh, you're an idiot. This is this is blah, 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 whatever. Well, try again. Because you're not going to go anywhere with that. And the top, and the comment there was actually well constructive. So that's props to it. So now I'm going to give my policy here on YouTube. One, I don't do clickbait. So... That's why I'm going to try my best to actually be transparent on my description on, on the title. I thought I was, but again, you know, to each of their own. But I don't do clickbait, and I don't force anyone to watch my video. If you think the video is not interested, hey, don't watch it. They're saying, well, I thought the whole point of YouTube is to get views. Yeah, that would be nice, but it's within the right. They have the freedom to choose whether they want to watch a video or not. What I do is... I put the video up, I just want to give my thoughts, and then I move on. Think of it as a street performer playing his guitar. He opens his case. Do people need to pay him to to perform? No, it's an option. If people want to give him money because he's doing a good job, that's fine. Nobody's forcing him to, he's not forcing people to pay him to do his performance. He just said, hey, you know, if you think I'm good, Hey, here's some money. There you go. And the same thing with my YouTube videos. If you don't interesting, you think my videos are not for you, hey, no, don't watch it. That's all I can say. And you say, well, yeah, well, you can't really put those off. You're not gonna get away with it. I don't know what to say about that one. Like I said, I don't. Th- my policy is I don't do clickbait. I don't start flaming. I just want to give my thoughts and I move on. That's really it. There's nothing else to say about it. So there you go, that is like my follow-up on, well, YouTube in general, my policy rule. Now, I do have other policy rule on YouTube that I follow. Um, I'll put it on the description box, links in the description box, that's what I meant. And like I said, I don't do clickbait. I try to be transparent if I can. I don't start flaming. I just give my opinion about it, and I move on. I don't basically taunt people. I don't start altercation. I don't start the instigation. I just give my opinion. It may be right. It may be wrong. It's subjective. But then I move on. But when I do my video, I don't attack anyone. I don't, and like I said, I don't cuss on the video. I try to be mature, be prefer, uh, prof- very formal, very professional to the best of my ability. And that's just my rule. There you go. So with that, hope you can understand how my YouTube channel works in, within the policy. And if you are interested in my other video, if you have a chance, go check it out. But it's up to you. I'm not forcing anyone. So with that, thanks for listening. That's it for now, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.